Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time we started to explore the icy side here of Hailfire Peaks, and once we got here, we saw our alien friend that we met back in Jolly Roger Lagoon. He unfortunately fell out of his aircraft and died on impact. It's a very, very sad and tragic story. And today, our mission is to bring him back to the world of living. We're going to find a way to revive him, so let's go ahead and make a way into Hubba's hut here and maybe see if she can help. Actually, who are we kidding? She can't really help us. But her doorway over here can, because now we're back in the fire side of Hailfire Peaks, and we're inside a Mumbo skull. Mumbo can help us out, so let's actually enlist Mumbo's help here to go ahead and see if he can save our alien friend. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We got a Globo. Let's get magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes, we do. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Alright, now with Mumbo's help, let's make our way back over to the icy side of Hathar Peaks, and conveniently for us, we have a shortcut back that's just in the side of Mumbo's house. But this does have a weird side effect. This is the first time we enter Mumbo's Whipwham here with Mumbo, and she doesn't like him. Mumbo not welcome. Leave now, or be in big heap trouble. What are you gonna do about it, huh? I'm gonna swim in your pool. How do you like that? Mumbo, get out of pool. No. I like to swim. This is fun. You can't stop me. There's nothing you can do. Mumbo not welcome. Yeah, so because both Mumbo and Hubba hate each other, anytime Mumbo enters Hubba's hut, she gets really upset with Mumbo and basically kicks him out, but she doesn't really enforce it, so we can kind of hang around as much as we want. We could have done that all the way back in the very first world of the game, but I figured let's show it off here because the easiest way to get back to this side is through Wumba's house, so it kind of made things a little bit awkward, but here we are, reviving the alien dad with her life force power. Mumbo has the ability to bring people back to life here in Hailfire Peaks. Big drop hurt lots. Where am I? You dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. You alive. Didn't need puny earthling magic. Could've used special powers instead. Spaceman ungrateful. Waste Mumbo's time. We should teach a lesson. Sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low, and we need your help. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the earth with wondrous gifts. Mumbo like gifts. Not tacky alien merchandise, though. Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect alien signal. Mumbo impressed, but Mumbo magic better. Alright, so there you go. All the alien kids now show up. We couldn't have actually interacted with any of these kids beforehand because they weren't even here originally on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks. So that's definitely something interesting to note because some of those areas we could have actually explored already, but no one was there until this point. So now to revive the big alien in charge, he sent out a signal revealing where all of his kids are and we can go ahead and save them all with Banjo-Kazooie. But there's one more thing Mumbo can do here in the icy side of Hailfire Peaks and it's over here. So let's go ahead and use this mumble pad, and let's go ahead and revive someone else who died here. Saberman! This is an oldie, but Saberman is actually a reference to one of Rare's earliest characters they ever made in a video game. Many thanks, young sir. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984. 
Mumble things seem crazy, old man, before. Perhaps? It's quite possible. I come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name's Saberman. Adventuring is my game. Or at least was my game. What Cable Man doing in Ice Block? Curses Saber Wolf chased me all the way here, where I was frozen in my tracks by the Ice Dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you see your way to warming me up? Mumbo not do that, but no bear that might. Yeah, so that guy needs our help warming him up, and we can't do it, so we'll keep that in mind for later, but for now, let's just go ahead and just make our way across this ice, which definitely does hurt. This icy water is not for Mumbo, but I'm doing this on purpose, because at this point, it'd be quicker to get back to Mumbo's hut if we go ahead and just death warp away there. Because I want to make my way all the way over to this side to get ourselves a Globo, which would definitely help us out for the transformation of this area. But for now, let's go ahead and just, well, die and fall back into the snow, which warps us back to the fire side, strangely enough. That works out for me, because luckily we're right here, right in Mumbo's home, so we can go ahead and put him back into his chair. So, that is that. Now, let's go ahead and make way back over to the icy side, and let's go ahead and help out a lot of those alien kids, shall we? So first things first, we want to go ahead and try to help this kid here that's right next to Wubba's house. So let's go ahead and use the drill bill move here and break open the ice. What's wrong with it? Beats me. You can try beak the mouth resuscitation. Ugh, no chance. Then this is a job for a professionally qualified doctor. Yeah, so we couldn't break that open until we had Mumbo's help to revive the alien in charge, which will show up all the kids on our map. And now we need to swap back to Mumbo to revive the one kid, because unfortunately, that one also died. This one, I'm going to assume it just died because of the cold, not because it fell out of a spaceship. So, we need your help again, Mumbo. You got one more person to revive. A little annoying here that we have to kind of swamp back and forth with Mumbo in this world, but nothing we really could have done to avoid this, so let's go ahead and make our way back over into the icy side as Mumbo, and let's go ahead and revive ourselves one more alien here that got some bad frostbite. I mean, at least compared to the father, this kid was in a little caverns-like area. It was hidden away, basically, so... You don't have to worry about anything trying to attack that kid. Because imagine if, like, one of the snowman came up here and tried to eat that child. That'd be terrible. Luckily, it was encased in ice so no one could try to attack her. There you go. The kid's back to life. Thank you. Earthling's not all brain dead. Thanks, I think. I don't know how to feel about that one. Well, that hurt. I'm not going to be death warping my way back to the hut this time because uh, we're right here. Right next to Mumbo's home. So we can make our way through Mumbo's home to get back to Mumbo to get back to Banjo-Kazooie. This time, this will be faster than just trying to, well, death warp our way back. So that was that. Now we have that kid revived. The other two alien kids over in the icy side, we can actually just get them taken care of with Banjo-Kazooie. We don't need to worry about doing this back and forth swapping anymore, so... Definitely keep that one in mind. You want to get this kid out of the way pretty much right away just to make things a little bit easier for your sake later on. So now with that done, we just need to go ahead and find out where these other two children are located, which luckily for us, one of them is actually right here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually climb up this area just to make this a little bit easier because as you can see there, we're supposed to climb around this wall. But we could just walk around just like so, and we can get the same task done. So that makes things a lot easier for us. Thanks, Earthling. I hope that kid knows how to swim. Well, we won't be finding out because the kid's just gone now. So I'm going to just assume it knew how to swim back. Now, instead of climbing all the way around this wall, I'm just going to go ahead and use Wonder Wing to walk through the icy water. 
I got more than enough golden feathers. I can easily do that. So that made things a lot easier. Then that's two out of the three kids rescued. Now there's only one more left. So let's go ahead and well get back into our normal state. I don't want to get back on Kazooie's legs there. And speaking of Kazooie, we want to go ahead and separate these two. So I'm going to go ahead and separate Banjo and Kazooie here. And now with Kazooie, I'm actually going to go ahead and just make my way over to where Saberman here is. Because I'm going to go ahead and warm him up now. I don't need to make my way all the way over to where he's at. But I want to go ahead and do so because as Dragon Kazooie, we could just burn him to a crisp. That's so much better. Glad to help an old hero. Being frozen for so long has tired me. I need a cup of tea and 40 winks. Could you possibly help me out just one more time? Anything for a jiggy. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over on the fiery side of the mountain. If it hasn't burnt down by now. I'll go and get Banjo then. Yeah, so you do technically get a little bit of flavor text there depending on who you actually help him with. If you help Saberman with Banjo and Kazooie, the text will be slightly different. But if you help out with just Kazooie, then Kazooie's like, yeah, just get Banjo. He can do the hard part. So we'll let him do that here in the moment because for now, we're going to make our way back over to the upper area of the icy side here because one of the children we need to go ahead and find is over here. So first things first, take out that snowman because he's in my way. And now, go ahead and glide over here. And we're gonna climb up this mountain. Now, we already got the Cheeto page that's up here, so we don't have to get any collectibles in this area. So if you were gonna get the Cheeto page, this is how you're supposed to get up here, or you could just drop down from where you can learn the glide move and get it that way too. But I don't want to climb up here because on this ledge is our final alien we want to go ahead and rescue. Cool, a little alien baby. Mommy? Now look at me, kid. So cold. Mommy. Daddy. We don't like cold Earthling planet. Now the kid's cold, huh? Well, let's go ahead and warm him up with Kazooie's butt. Great. Me nice and toasty now. Time to go home. You have done well, Earthling, but I shall now have to exterminate you all for taking so long. Uh, have you kids seen my laser anywhere? Ah, you must be on the ship. Your race is spared for now, Earthling. Stand clear. Beaming up sequence initiating. Okay, well that was a weird transaction of events, but saving the kids does get us a jiggy, but the guy kind of wanted to murder us too, which is a little weird and a little insensitive. Not going to lie, dude. We just helped revive all your kids and bring them back, but instead you want to murder us. Sure, thanks. Sorry I was a little slow. It's not like I had to find three of your children scattered throughout the land. But now with Banjo by himself, we want to go ahead and put Saberman into our backpack so we can go ahead and make our way back over to the fiery side of Hailfire Peaks. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get ourselves that Jiggy D aliens left behind. If we don't get kicked, that is. So conveniently for us, there's a nice little cutout here that can get us to the other side where Wugga's Wigwam is. And now we can get ourselves that nice old Jiggy. So there you go. That's another Jiggy in the bag. And now, for an easy way to get back over to where Saberman's tent is, let's go ahead and use our warp pad up here. Because this warp pad will take us basically right to his tent. So, if we go back to the lower side of Hailfire Peaks on the fire, we're right here, right next to his tent. So, let's go ahead and return Saberman to his home. My tent! My equipment! 
It's just as I left it all those years ago. It's probably worthless anyways. My treasure is still here too! You may have it, kind sir. It's a fine golden jigsaw piece. No use to me. I'm hanging up my boots. Oh, there he goes. Very, very slowly over to his bed. I can walk faster than that. Ugh. Perhaps a ride on a dolphin. Yeah, you keep dreaming that. Rare didn't release much on the dolphin. I'm sorry, sir. They really only got the release Star Fox Adventures on that platform. That's kind of looking into things because the dolphin was actually the code name for Nintendo's next system at the time, the GameCube. So I'm believing Saberman was referencing something about on the Dolphin because it was referencing rare games on that platform. Sadly though, that didn't really happen because Rare was shortly bought out by Microsoft around the time the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox were first releasing. So Rare didn't really have much time to release stuff on the Dolphin, now known as the GameCube. They really weren't able to only release one big thing, which was Star Fox, and that's because they already had a partnership deal at that point. But we've pretty much done everything at this point, but one thing here, and that is using our transformation on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks. So we're going to go ahead and check our transformation next time. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we'll go ahead and trade our Globo for this world's transformation. I'll see you guys next time.